Studies are showing that one of the most important risk factors for COVID-19 is your weight, including for kids. But what is it about fat that makes the virus worse? And could losing just a few pounds help? Our ABC 10 News anchor Derek Stahl is going in depth with two experts to get the answers. Hospital data is clear. Extra pounds means significantly extra risk from COVID-19. People who are obese are more than twice as likely to wind up in the hospital with the virus and 48% more likely to die from it. Some people have made the arguments that, oh, well, the, the deaths from COVID are just in people with pre-existing conditions. Well, this is a pre-existing condition that affects a third of the U.S. population in the obese range and another third in the overweight range. The risk extends to children as well. Even though kids tend to do well against the virus, a recent CDC study found the biggest risk factor for a poor outcome by far was obesity. 38% of hospitalized kids had it. In regards to obesity, what's making them more at risk? It's unfortunately a double whammy. Doctors say there are overlapping issues at play inside the body. Blood clots more easily in obese people, one of the main ways COVID kills. Fat cells secrete tiny proteins that cause inflammation, another huge problem with COVID patients. And overall, people who are obese have weaker immune systems. The theory is that the fat is taking over in certain parts of your body that normally are producing white blood cells. Mechanically, fat on the abdomen makes it harder to get air into the lungs, which can worsen things like pneumonia. And the extra weight makes it harder to use a ventilator. On top of that, people with obesity frequently have other underlying conditions. Hypertension, diabetes, obesity, fatty liver, these things are all really associated with each other. And what we've seen is each of them is related to a poor outcome uh, in COVID. Okay, so what's overweight and what's obese? It all has to do with your body mass index or BMI, which is based on your weight and your height. A BMI over 25 is considered overweight. A BMI over 30 is obese. If you're five foot five, you're considered overweight at 150 pounds and obese at 180. Multiple studies are showing that just being overweight is increasing the risk of complications with COVID and the higher the weight, the higher the BMI, the risk is even higher. Dr. Marsha Blunt at Sharp Reese Staley teaches other physicians how to talk about weight loss. She says the encouraging news is that losing just 5% of your weight can have significant benefits. That 5% has been proven time and time again to decrease the risk of getting diabetes. It decreases breast cancer risk for females. It lowers triglycerides, improves HDL, which are different uh, lipid numbers, and that thereby decreases your risk of stroke and heart attack. It can also reduce blood pressure, another major risk factor for COVID, suggesting a little weight loss can go a long way. Derek Stahl, ABC 10 News. The U.S. has one of the highest rates of obesity in the entire world, and some experts think that that's one of the reasons why the virus has hit our country harder than others.